Right, what's happening guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video talking with The Walking Dead, of course. Uh, this is a really, really interesting, uh, cool little thing that uh, one of my uh, viewers sent to me. Uh, the viewer's name is Joey Blokeland. I want to thank him for this because I had no idea this existed. But somebody has actually taken uh, The Walking Dead TV series and done a statistical breakdown of who has killed the most zombies, when each zombie was killed in the show, at what time, and by what weapon. So uh, I'll put the link in the description. You guys can go ahead and click on it, check it out, and it's very cool. It gives us um, a lowdown on exactly you know how many kills each character has had, when they happen, what season, what weapon, uh, all of that. And uh, in total, at this point, at the mid-season finale for The Walking Dead Season 3, there have been 27 episodes, and there have been a total of... 349, so almost 350 on screen zombie deaths. So that's pretty damn cool. Uh, I actually thought it would have been less than that. You know, you, when you're watching the show, you don't realize how many zombies are dying just like left, right, and center. Uh, because we did have a few episodes there in season two where there wasn't many zombie kills. A couple of them, there's only like one zombie kill, maybe two. And people were really getting mad about that because they felt like, is this a zombie apocalypse show or what is this? You know, there's. There's not enough of them around. Definitely in season three, they've fixed that. And there's been tons of zombies in, in basically uh, every single episode. Um, so very cool. Uh, 350 almost total uh, kills. We've got um, you know some of the statistics that will break down the amount of kills. Uh, most of them are by handguns. Let's see, 113 zombie kills by handgun. Uh, 18 by crossbow. Um, 13 by axe. 16 by baseball bat. Um, let's see, what are some of the others? Uh, knife, there's been uh, 20 kills uh, on zombies by a knife. Uh, 14 by a machete. A um, couple by pitchfork. Three by shovels. Uh, 44 by shotguns. Um, so that's a lot. Most of those probably come from Shane. Uh, 14 by sword. So that's all going to be basically Michonne. Um Silenced uh, guns, 11. Sniper rifles, 7. Um, <laughs> very cool, man. Very cool. And then they've got a bunch of others, too, that don't have as many. But uh, for me, the most interesting part of this is uh, which characters have the most kills. Um, so if you guys haven't checked the site yet, I'll go through them with you real quick. Um, <coughs> sorry, I've been talking a lot today. Um, a lot of clients on the phone stuff. Um, so... Who do you guys think has the most kills of anyone in The Walking Dead? Um, I think it's kind of a no-brainer because if you think about it, you're like right away, hmm, let's think of the characters. It's got to be Rick. It's got to be Rick. And you're right. If you if you thought it was Rick, it is Rick. He's got uh, 86 uh, zombie kills with the only uh, person, notable person that he killed being Sophia. Um, let's see, or, or notable person to, to change into a, a, a zombie afterwards and then have him put him down. Uh, the only one is Sophia throughout the series. Uh, so he's in first place for the, the most zombie kills. He's got more than double anybody else. Uh, in second place, now this is interesting. Uh, this one actually goes to Daryl. Yeah, Daryl's got the second most zombie kills. He's got 41 kills. Now, this sheet here, it does it only shows people that are still alive, but there were other characters, obviously, that are not, and I believe third place goes to Shane. Um, I guess I think he had around 30, if I counted that right, from the list. Um, so first Rick, second Daryl, third Shane, and fourth is Andrea uh, with 22 zombie kills. So yeah, Andrea beats out Glenn and Herschel and Michonne and Carl and Carol and Merle and Maggie. Beats out all the rest. Um, Glenn is next with 19. Then followed by Herschel, actually tied by Herschel at 19 as well. Michonne at 15. Um, Carl at 13. Maggie at 10. Merle at 5. And Carol at 4. Now, of course, a lot of the ones near the bottom, like Merle, obviously he's killed. He might have killed more than anybody else on this list here um, because he's been with the governor. We haven't seen that, though. These are the only on-screen kills. Plus, there was a time skip. So, you know, uh, we didn't get to see a lot of what happened during that, but I'm sure uh, Rick would have uh, piled up a lot more zombie kills as well and might still be in first place. Um, Shane, of course, did kill a lot too, 
um, near the beginning there and everything that happened with that. But uh, again, a lot of it was not on screen, so we don't know for sure. But at least from what was on screen, uh, Rick has killed the most. I think probably overall, Rick still might have killed the most. I mean, let's think here. Daryl would have killed a lot too on his own. You could, you could assume that, I think. Because uh, he's kind of a loner too, and he goes out on his own. Merle, being that he's been with the governor and stuff, and he's been like the governor's uh, right-hand man, so to speak, uh, he's probably killed a lot, maybe more than Rick. Although, I mean, it's kind of hard to say because Rick is a uh, is a monster in terms of doing stuff like that. He's like a leader of a strike force. Very cool. Um, let's see who else. I don't think anybody else can really touch him. Uh, the governor himself doesn't seem to really have killed many zombies himself. He gets his lackeys to do it for him. Michonne. Michonne actually, now that I think about it, she might have more zombie kills than anybody because she doesn't need to reload. Uses a sword and she's a pro at it and she enjoys it. So she may actually be number one uh, if you if you if we got to see how many she's actually killed uh, off screen. But um, yeah, I mean either way, this is a really really cool thing to check out. You guys definitely uh, have a look and uh, and see. It's kind of interesting to see from the show, uh, you know, how many which which characters were killed when and who they were killed by. And it's funny because you see all the zombies and then you got like the ones that stick out that are characters from the show, like Carl killing Shane and uh, Sophia getting killed by Rick and. Uh, it's just, it's it's very cool. Andrea killing uh, Amy. It's just, it's really super cool. So definitely uh, check it out, guys. Let me know what you think about it. Are you surprised by the results at all? Uh, I'm not. I kind of expected Rick to be, you know, number one from what we see. He's the main character, so we're always with him. So even if Daryl is going off elsewhere killing zombies and walkers, we might not always see it because we follow Rick. So, I mean, you can't say for sure Rick's killed the most, but... It, it, it certainly seems like he probably has. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about this. This is very cool. Um, by the way, everyone uh, who sent me a private message, I am way backed up. I am over 500 messages behind now. Uh, so I don't want to ignore anybody. I don't want to act like a jerk or anything like that. But there's no way I can answer 500 private messages. I'm just door in the face, boom, too much. I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> so if I do check out your private message and answer you, uh, cool. If I don't, don't take it personally. I just have too many. I can't possibly answer them all. I'd be here all day and night trying to do it. It'd be like a full eight-hour workday to answer these 500 messages. It'd be ridiculous. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. See you for the next one. This is Trev. Same piece.